up y'all y'all this video is not gonna be long at all because i really just have like really one point to make <sighs> like i don't know maybe this year period has been a lot to say the least and i have been put in situations to where I've never thought I'd be put in before. I never would have expected this. <laughs> you know, when something happened to you, like, I would have never thought this would. Yeah, that's me. Like, I would have never thought this would have happened. Like, but yes, like, and then just um, reminiscing on the beginning of, of the year, I wanted, well, I don't want to say I wanted that, but I wanted to trust God more and I wanted more from god like i literally was like this year i am um, transform my relationship with god like maybe if you if you knew me personally that's probably one of the things you know that i am a christian and i am yeah we like that but like no buts but period and so like i was saying in the beginning of the year i really wanted like I wanted to take God more seriously because sometimes when you do things a lot, it can become kind of like rehearsed and like not have any like meaning or value or like you're just like more or less checking the box. And maybe like that's how I was feeling like, okay, yeah, I'm with God. But like, am I like, am I with him? Like, am I doing this with him? You know what I mean? And so maybe I feel like I was kind of like, just going, just going, you know, just going. So I said, Brooklyn, this year, you gonna, you gonna take God more serious. Like you gonna tap in, honey. I'm trying to tap in to another level. Yeah. <laughs> like, yes. I don't even think I'm gonna edit this y'all. I'm just gonna talk for real. But like, I genuinely wanted to tap in on another level and that's, what i'm going to do nine times out of ten if i say i'm gonna do something y'all i'm gonna do it but um yeah and so um yeah like i said i want to trust god more i was yearning for more and i still am yearning for more because you know you know yourself and you know where you could be versus where you are you know and so um you know you get in college and you do whatever and you 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 know you do whatever you have fun well yeah you do whatever you have fun or whatever you consider fun or you just go out and so when doing that and like not going to church like i used to and stuff like that i feel like god was put um oh i got a little text but i feel like in my life god was being put on the back burner and so like you know i didn't want to well I, I prayed but like it'll be like I'm getting in the car. I'm like, God, please keep me safe and protected and keep on going, you know, or pray for your food, but none too much. But I was like, I don't like where I'm at. I don't like where I'm at. And when you, when you know yourself, you know, you know, your, when you know yourself, it's like, you know, hold on. I'm not used to this girl. You be going to church. You be tapped in, like get yourself right. Because what I've really been feeling like, <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. <laughs> but what I really been feeling like is like, Brooklyn, you got to get this for yourself. Like whoever is listening or like, even if y'all don't, I'm just really making this more or less for myself. But like, you have to do this for yourself. If you like, oh, I'm just waiting on my mama to go or like, I'm gonna go in with mama go in or go in meaning going to church or yeah, I'm gonna go with my grandma. I'm gonna go with blah, blah, blah. Y'all. I am 19 years old. I am at the age of accountability. And so are you, probably who's watching this. Yes, you are. Stop relying on other people to direct you through your path. This is, y'all. <laughs> like, y'all. What I mean, like, it's really hitting me. This is my life. This is your life. Babe, 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 this is your life. You only get one of these. 
You only get one of these. But... <laughs> Y'all, you really like for real. All jokes aside, like I'm playing, but I'm for real. Like you literally only get one life. You literally only get one life. <sighs> and so, um, wait, where was I going with that? You only get one life. So don't don't wait for nobody do not wait for nobody don't wait for nobody wait nobody for what like i'm trying to say it backwards i can't even think about that right now like do not wait for nobody y'all if you are serious about god and like or even with anything in your life if you are serious about it and you sold out and this is your plan this is your dream do it don't wait for nobody you don't need validation you don't need no sometimes you don't even need a plan just you have the vision you do it like and i'm really talking to myself like do it if that's what you want to do as long as you're not hurting yourself or like you know putting anybody in danger <laughs> but like do it you know because y'all this is you get one shot you get one shot <laughs> and it's like either you gonna do it or you not so why not just do it and so maybe that's how i was feeling with me and my journey with god it's like brooklyn you you saying you waiting for your mom babe you're 18 if you you're 17 you're 16 you're 20 you're 21 if this is what you want to do go inside you ain't got to wait for nobody prayer starts at six bible study starts at seven Sunday school starts at 10. Get up, get dressed, and you go. Because at the end of the day, when he comes back, you're not going to be like, hold on, let me text my mom. Mom, where are you at? No, babe. You can't. What? Don't leave me, mom. You can't. Don't leave me, dad. You can't say none of that. Grandma, wait for me. No. This is me. I was born alone. Even if you are twins, y'all ain't come out at the same time. Y'all came out at different times. You are born in this world alone. You are accountable for your own self. If you have a plan or if you have a dream, you have a vision, you set that out for yourself. You do it. Don't wait for nobody. Do not wait for anyone. Why? Why would you do that? You came in by yourself, babe, and you gonna leave by yourself. Unless it's like a car accident or a plane crash. <clears throat> yeah. And so, um, I, I think I went off on a little tangent. But let me go back to what I was saying. Um, yeah. So, <clears throat> I feel like I keep reiterating myself but i'm gonna say it again but yeah like i was saying i wanted to be i want to be more serious like i want to be like okay look like this is my life i'm at the age of accountability i have nobody at the end of the day i own up to what i do like my mama can't say my mama can't do nothing my dad can't say you know what? i'll take it no i'm i have to own up for my own stuff because Really, by the age of 16, your parents done instilled in you almost everything that you really need to know. And 17 through 18 is really just more experience of you learning what they taught you by yourself. So, yeah. Um, yeah, like I was saying, uh, I want to trust God. I want to trust God, especially this year. I didn't know exactly how i want to get stronger in him but i know i want to take him more seriously so the first step is trust so what i have been seeing it is i'm literally in my car i just left bible um no i just left prayer it is uh may the 23rd at probably like 7 44 2022 and God has been putting me in situations and yeah, he has been putting me in situations, trials, tribulations, misfortune. <laughs> he has been putting me in a lot to where 
to where the only thing I can do is just trust him. You know what I mean? Like, and it's kind of, it kind of make you laugh, but it's kind of like, dang, that's crazy. Like, you won't trust, you want to trust God, he's going to put you in a situation where the only thing you have to do, or the only thing you can do is trust him. Or, you know, you want to stop fooling with the people that no, you know not good in your life, or you know is bringing you down, or whatever you got going on in your life. He is going to put you in a situation where the only thing where the only option you have to do is move. Mm. Mm. That was good. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Y'all, this, this man, I was just at church and I, for, I cannot remember that man's name, but he was talking about his testimony, y'all. And he was talking about a mat, right? Because you know, like, you know, I forgot the man's name in the Bible, but he was, um, y'all, anyways, anyways, let me tell you the gist, because I'm going to just stretch it. <laughs> I'm going to stretch it. Basically, he was saying, take your mat. You know when you got your mat? About this thick, probably not even that. You laying down, and of course you're uncomfortable, but your flesh, your the thing about your flesh is going to get you in a world of trouble, okay? The flesh is... It's your worldly desire. Look, I'm pulling on my shirt. No. Uh, your flesh is your worldly desires. What you think you want, but your heart, your spirit, your spirit man is from God. That's what that's what's that's what's keeping you in touch from God. But your flesh is drawn onto the worldly things. And I feel like that's where, especially young people our age, um, like to let their flesh take over and that's the thing we have to it's hard y'all it's hard i'm telling you but you have to cut him out you have to cut her out you have to like look put him on the back burner and say look my spirit needs this right now <clears throat> but let me go back to the mat he was saying you literally have to pick up your mat from a situation and leave you know your mat is somewhere where you lay or whatever and it's not that you don't want to leave because of course you're uncomfortable but your flesh is the one that's grabbing like your flesh is the one that's keeping you there but mm, y'all I, I can't even explain it like the man did but like hopefully you get what i'm saying it's literally pick up your mat and leave pick up your mat and go Cause why are you here? <laughs> yes, yeah, <it's> like, <clears throat> and that's like really what you have to do, y'all. And so, um, yeah, just really seeing, like, just really seeing, just really seeing, just really seeing. You know, not seeing, seeing, seeing. Yeah, just really seeing. You know, and. Mm. When I mean, mm, 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 y'all, when I mean God is so good, God is so good because look, let me tell you something. When you ask for God, when you ask God, no, when you ask God for something, y'all, when you ask Him for something for real, and you like, God, look, I want um A B C D. This is what I really want. This is what I really want, y'all. Why would you go for? xyz don't go for xyz do not settle this is not a time where we should be settling we are not settling for nothing whether that's your career whatever clubs you are in whatever position you're in whatever whatever friendships or whatever you got going on whatever i got going on don't god wants <clears throat> god god not gonna give you the lower half Babe, he's not gonna give you the bottom of the barrel. Why would why would he give you the bottom of the barrel, babe? You are the apple of his eye. He loves you. He loves you. Let me, he loves you. This man loves you. Why would he give you the lower half? He would never do that. So don't give yourself the lower half. Do not give yourself the lower half, y'all. God saying, okay, you tell me you want this. 
go for what you want go for what you want and even in my career while well, i'm saying career like i'm like 25 i am but i'm just really trying to think ahead but even like in my career well future career i've been really like i don't know like in a lot of confusion of what i really wanted to do or that's become a doctor or do physician assistant or whatever but it's like what did you want in the beginning what did you want in the beginning don't just do something because don't you get one shot what did i say in the beginning you get one shot babe you get one shot so do it this is your this is your sign you know how people on tiktok say this is your sign this is your sign to do it do it go for what you want go for what you want and go for what you said in the beginning you know it like when we hear when we hear we're like yeah this is what i want eh, 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 period but then you know went on all through all this stuff and boy you all messed up now and now you're saying i'll just go for this no babe turn back around and say oh i wanted this in the beginning remember what you wanted right here remember what you wanted and y'all i'm done i mean honestly i think this video was like i said more for myself and just say what did you want in the beginning what did you want in the beginning that's all i gotta say i'm done i'm done i'm done i'm done i'm done with this video i was gonna say i don't know what the purpose is but i do know what the purpose is for anybody go for what you said at first and even on tests we go back and and then try to change up answers usually your first answer is the right answer go for what you said at first that's it go for what you want trust god and go for what you said at first don't settle oh let's end this with a prayer <clears throat> everybody pr bow your head and close your eyes or if you don't want to just close your eyes <laughs> okay <clears throat> father god thank you for this day thank you for uh, all of our moms our dads and our siblings if we have those father god <sighs> i just want to pray and receive for the person that is listening right now or for the person that's watching this video i just ask that you go over their life father god I just ask that you go over any trial that they're in right now or any trial that they just got over or whatever they're in, Father God, or whatever they just got out of. I just want to say thank you for that, Jesus. Thank you for the lesson that they learned, Father God. Thank you for this summer, Jesus, just for opening our eyes and teaching us, Father God, and just putting us in positions to where the only thing we have to do or the only thing we can do is move or the only thing we have to do and the only thing we can do is trust God. So I just want to ask that you go for each and every one of us, God. Keep us stronger. Keep us um, instilled with your word, Father God, and allow us just to strengthen our relationship with you. We love you so much, Jesus, and we appreciate you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you for what you have to come for us and for our family and all the blessings, Father God. I just ask that you send the rain, send the rain, send the rain. Stay in attack with God, stay focused, and stay on his path, honey. That's the only way you will be able to get the blessings. If you stay in touch, stay on the path, stay righteous. Love y'all.